Hey everyone, it's HostExaminer.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own personal email address through cPanel, assuming you already have your web hosting and your domain name. We're going to show, I'm going to show you how to do it through cPanel to have your own email account and then be able to send and receive emails with a different third-party uh, email service like Gmail or Yahoo. So let's go ahead and log into cPanel. Put in your uh, password and username. Now this demonstration is with HostGator hosting, but it works for any host that uses cPanel. cPanel is like the universal control panel for most web hosts, like Bluehost, HostGator, etc. So go down in cPanel and click on Email Accounts under the mail. This is the first part, so we're going to have to set up your email name, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to do test me, just as an example at youtubemedia.com, that's my domain name, so whatever your domain name is and set up uh, what you want it to be called. And then put in a password, and then unlimited or select the file size you want for the account, I'm just going to do unlimited, um, and then click create account, and down here it shows the uh, current active email addresses and it pops up right here, test me at youtubemedia.com, and you can change the password, delete, etc. Now, the second thing we're going to have to do is go back to the main control panel now that we have set up our email and create a forwarder. So go to forwarders under the same mail section and then uh, click add forwarder. Now enter that email address we just made, testme at youtubemedia.com, select your domain and then choose the email address you want it to be forwarded to. So put the email address of whatever email service you use. For example, I use Gmail. I only use Gmail. Maybe it's Outlook Express, maybe you have a Comcast or an AT&T, SBC Global that you use. Use that, whatever, wherever you check your email. So I'm going to put in my Gmail account one, and then just click Add Forwarder. And then go back. And there it is right here. Test me at YouTube Media now gets redirected to... So to test this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my... Uh, this is an AOL account. I'm going to use that email address we just made, youtubemedia.com, test, test. This email should be sent now to my Gmail. So if we click send, then I'm going to go to my Gmail account here, and there it is right there, test from testme at youtubemedia.com. So that's part one, where now I've just confirmed we're able to receive emails, but now we have to set it up so we can send emails, as in respond. That's a separate step. To do that, let's go back to control panel, make it to the home page. Um, now, for the first thing I'm going to show you is webmail. Click right here, webmail. This is the like source where all your emails come and go through in control panel. It's how you access your email accounts through cPanel. So you're going to need webmail. So first of all, let's go to uh, Gmail where I want to set up my email address so I can send and reply to emails. Um, go up to this gear icon. It's different for every email service, but it's the same concept. So for Gmail, we go up here and click settings, go to account and import, and then right here, add another email address you own. So enter the email we just made, and then click next step next step send through gmail and then there you go it says it's going to send you a confirmation code send verification you're going to have to go retrieve that and verify it so this is where webmail comes in let's go back to control panel let's go back to the main control panel remember i was saying webmail right here this is currently where all our emails come and go until we have it completely set up through gmail or yahoo or wherever you're setting it up webmail is the source in cpanel so this is where the verification email is going to be sent. So click on webmail, go to secure webmail, login. There's three different um, webmail uh, softwares you can use. I just use Squirrel Mail. They're all the, basically the same thing. And then log in using the email address we just made and the password. Okay, and you can see this is the inbox. It's very basic, like I said. So here's the confirmation email from Gmail right here. So just click it. And the verification code, here it is right here, confirmation code. So we're going to copy that, go back to Gmail, and enter that verification code. And just go ahead and click verify. Bam, and there you go, we're now good to go. So it now says uh, test me at youtubemedia.com, and I can now send and receive emails so let's test it out I've already proved that I can receive let's see if I can send so to send 
using the email address we um, just created, you go up to from and there should be a drop down box with all your different email addresses. So I'm going to choose the one I just made, testme at youtubemedia.com. I'm going to do, I'm going to send it to, back to my uh, AOL account. Test, test, and send. And let's go to AOL. And here's the email right here, test from test me at youtubemedia.com. So there you go. We're now using my Gmail account, which normally has a Gmail address, but we've now set up a personal email address for it. And then I can also show you how to do it in Yahoo. You just go to this gear icon, click Mail Options. Okay, and then go over on the left on Mail Accounts. And then you'd click Add and start the process. You'd put in the, the email address and then click Continue and they'll send you a verification email. And then the same thing, you have to go to your webmail in cPanel and get the verification email and then you're good to go and you have your own personal email address now set up with Yahoo. Same process with Yahoo, I mean AOL or Outlook or uh, Mozilla's uh, version of a web email client. So that's how you set up your own personal email address. You just go to uh, email accounts, you then uh, create a forwarder, you then add it through your uh, account through the settings, and then you go to your webmail and confirm it and you're good to go. And so that's about it. And uh, if you have any other questions, you can go to hostexaminer.com and use our contact form. All the other links and tutorials will be in the video description below or on our channel. We have a bunch of other tutorials for HostGator, cPanel, and uh, thanks for watching.